Hello, good afternoon here are some business stories. Now, statistics show that in 2000, only 500 individuals were worth a million dollars and above in Ghana. As of 2015, this had increased by over five times to about 2,700, and this is said to be the highest growth in sub-Saharan Africa by far. But exactly how are financial institutions capitalizing on this? Stambik Bank has in this light set up a wealth and investment unit to cater for the wealth needs of such high net worth clients with tailored financial solutions. Head of division Benjamin Mensa explains to Joy Business their value proposition goes beyond banking solutions. Not a lot of banks in Ghana have set up such units that look at that segment of the market. I've done, and I think we're taking a leap where it's having a view of the client's long-term needs, okay? Having a view of preserving the client's um, earnings over time or his wealth over time. Have a view of helping the clients to build more wealth. It has a view of helping the client have a lifestyle that befits their status. And it has a view of ensuring that that client leaves a legacy one to his um, you know kids or you know uh, next of kin and also to society um, and in that construct we call the the wealth quotient or our wealth philosophy now the energy crisis experienced by the nation continues to have a negative impact on business on industries including the mining sector this is said to have hampered the country's quest to maximize its gains from the mining sector over the past four years in an interview with Joy Business at the recently held Local Content and Investment Forum in Accra, Chief Executive Officer of the Chamber of Mines, Suleiman Kony, said the situation is retrogressing and hitting hard on the Chamber's local content agenda. And if you are not able to resolve the electricity challenge, then our ability to really, you know, get a lot more out of the main industry in terms of local contents would, would be, be challenged. Because for me, caustic soda is one of the major inputs of the mining industry. But the good thing is that it finds application in other sectors of the economy as well. And then the byproducts of the caustic soda production. So I think this is a power issue. I think we need to have a, have a look at it again and make sure that we resolve it for the long term. Because like I said, I have tried to engage a few investors. And the refrain is that until we have stable, reliable, and cost effective power, it will be a challenge for us to exploit that resource. Don't forget about VACO. VACO is essentially the same kind of challenge. So as a country, if you really want to transform our economy, it's something we talk about all the time. We need to change the base of the economy, transform, ensure that we have manufacturing growing and all of that. The base of industry is power. So until we resolve our power issue, it's not just the availability, but how cost effective it is, I think that it will be difficult for us to make headway as far as industrialization is concerned. Local content is not just child's play. If you do it well, we can see the transformation and the growth in manufacturing. That should be the focus, that how do you leverage local content in a strategic industry like mining to grow other sectors of the economy, particularly manufacturing and say services. So that is where we should be looking at. And that's it for business on the news this afternoon. Matt, for more business stories, uh, join me again at 1 p.m. on the markets, please. My name is Imano Abwaji Biafi.